Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and this is part of a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating UI interactions and animations. On this session, we're going to learn how to use drivers. Drivers connect properties of different layers with keyframes. And unlike the animation uh, panel and animations on principle, which happen between artboards or between screens, uh, the animations with drivers happen inside one artboard. So it's a little bit hard to explain, but it's better to just see it in action. So enough talk, let's go ahead and do it. Drivers work similarly to a typical animation timeline, except drivers animate based on a changing property instead of time. Uh, you can find the drivers panel here on the top, top and you'll be able to uh, add uh, different properties and keyframes once you make an uh, element draggable or scrollable or paging navigation. So for example, I made this guy, I made it draggable, horizontally draggable here on the inspector. And now I'm, I can see here that uh, if I move around here on the drivers, this is reflecting the size, uh, sorry, the position on the X axis axis of this element because now I made it scrollable horizontally. So it starts around here in the middle of the artboard and then if I move it all the way here now I can start adding properties to other elements. So uh, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make it if I drag it over here to the left I want to make this little guy the the face to rotate to the left and also shrink down and when I drag it all the way to the right I want to do the opposite to this face to grow and also rotate to the right. So let's go ahead and align this to, to the center. Let me just align it to the center and I can see this is my starting point. So I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to add properties, uh, layers, sorry, keyframes here. So I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to say that the scale changes and I also want to change the, the angle. So that's my starting point and I, don't, I keep it like that. And once it goes all the way here, I add more keyframes to the scale and to the angle. So to the scale is going to be, instead of one, I'm going to change it to 0.5. So it grows a little bit smaller. And also the angle, I'm going to change it to minus 45 degrees. So it rotates. And now I'm going to do the opposite to the right, all the way here. And here I want the scale to change to two. So it grows and also the angle going, it's going to go to 45 positive degrees. So now if I test it over here on my prototype, see how the uh, element is reacting to my dragging over here. So if I move it all the way to the left, it shrinks down, it rotates to the left. And if I move this uh, drag uh, uh, circle to the right, it this element grows and rotates to the right which is pretty cool. You can imagine how this can create uh, different effects like parallax effect or uh, navigation effects when you're, that are reacting to your gestures, to your uh, finger scrolling around different elements. Pretty, pretty cool stuff.